بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبة في الله I thought it would be relevant and important for us to go through this very small, very short uh, treatise, if you will, almost a pamphlet, which is translated by Brother Abu Anas Atif Hassan. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward him and bless him. And it's called Fadl al istighfar It's called The Virtue of Seeking Forgiveness. It's by Imam uh, Salih bin Fuzan, Hafizullah Ta'ala. And the importance of forgiveness and seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cannot be underestimated. All of us are aware of it. The Prophet sallallahu said, Kullu ibn Adam khatau khayran khatayin atawabun. All the children of Adam make mistakes and the best of those who make mistakes or sin are those who repent. So we know the importance of repenting and seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We know that we all make mistakes and we know that we know that is from the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, to make istighfar and that we should make istighfar. We should seek forgiveness from Allah And the Prophet وسلم, sought istighfar from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than 100 times uh, daily. <clears throat> this is from the Sunnah of the Prophet وسلم, who was forgiven for his sins prior to that and the sins that would occur after that. Salawatu Rabbi wa salamu So we are in even a greater need for forgiveness from Allah and Jal. Imam Fozan began, he said, Servants of Allah have taqwa of Allah, and know that indeed Allah has ordered us to repent to him and to seek forgiveness from our sins in many ayat in his noble book. He's called to describe himself as the all-forgiving, the forgiver of sins, and the possessor of forgiveness. And he has praised those who seek forgiveness, and he has promised them a great Reward. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is al ghafur al ghafur al wudu He subhanahu wa ta'ala is al-Rahman al-Rahim. He's the most beneficent, the most merciful. Subhanahu. Those are some of his divine names and attributes. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala possesses the attribute of forgiveness and mercy and beneficence. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we are in need of that forgiveness. So then the Shaykh said, all of these matters show the importance of seeking forgiveness, its virtue and our need of it. Allah conveyed to us about his prophets, alayhim salatu wasalam, that they sought forgiveness from him and they turned to him. He also mentioned the two parents, Adam and Hawa, said, our Lord, we have wronged ourselves. And if you do not forgive us and have mercy on us, we will indeed be from the losers. Letting us know that this is the sunnah of the Mursaleen, this is the sunnah of the Anbiya, of the Prophets, alayhim afdal salatu wa salam, is to seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So by showing your weakness, your frailty, and that you are in need of forgiveness, uh, this is uh, uh, something which is honorable. Because in, in the dunya, when you ask someone to forgive you for something when you do a lot of times out of stubborn pride we can't do it we're obstinate and we see it as a source of, belitt uh, of belittling ourselves but in fact seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala especially is a way of izza that all the anbiya they did this this is the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So, and in fact, it's the sunnah, it's the way, it's the madhab of the salaf of this ummah, the classical scholars, the sahaba radiyallahu ta'ala majma'een, the tabi'een, their students, rahimahullah jami'an, wa itba'a tabi'een, their students, rahimahullah. And those all the way up until now, this is the sunnah, of the best of this ummah. It is the madhab of the best of this ummah. It is the sunnah of the 
Prophet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says also in the Quran that Nur alayhi salatu wasalam said, and if you do not forgive me and have mercy on me, I will be from the losers. He also said, my Lord, forgive me and my parents and him who enters my home as a believer and all the believing men and women. What a beautiful dua from Nur alayhi salatu wasalam. And again, that's pouring your heart out. All of us need this forgiveness. All of us are in need of Allah And we need to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we all make mistakes. As we mentioned in the, in the first hadith, Kulun Adam Khatta. All the children of Adam, they make mistakes. All of them. They all sin. Don't think that these, ma our major scholars don't sin. Don't think that the smallest person doesn't sin. Don't think that the non-Muslims don't sin. Everyone all the children, as long as they're from the children of Adam, والسلام, then they sin. They, and, and, and this is uh, uh, affirmed in that statement of the Prophet وسلم, and the, the best of those who sin, since we all sin, the best of us, is those who repent. So that's raising your izzah. That's going to raise your status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you're raised with Allah, you can bet in the dunya you'll have those things. You'll be raised as well. And also in this dua of Nu alayhi salatu wasalam, he, he wasn't selfish. He didn't just ask for his forgiveness, but rather he asked for his parents' forgiveness. And he asked for whoever enters his home, their forgiveness. And he asked for the believers, for them to be forgiven. So let me restate that. All of them, he, salawatu rabbi wa salamu alayhi, asked Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive them. So this is, this is how the believer should be. The dua for the, for the, uh, the ghaib, the person who's not present. So supplicate for your brothers and sisters in Islam. Everyone's going through a struggle. Everyone is committing sins. And some committing the major sins, some committing the minor sins. Seek forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask that Allah forgives them. Ask for, for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to even forgive those people who are oppressing you. The one who's backbites you, the one who's stolen from you, the one who's taken your rights from you, the one who curses you, the one who calls you a mubtadi'ah. That shows that you're stronger and better than them. You're the stronger mu'min if you seek forgiveness. And I, as we speak, and asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive every Muslim that has committed a wrong against me. Ya Rabbil Alameen. Because I want that forgiveness from Allah Azza wa Jal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned about Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. My Lord, indeed I have wronged myself, so forgive me. This is Musa alayhi salatu wa salam. And he mentioned his prophet Dawood. He said regarding him, so he sought forgiveness from his Lord and fell prostrating and turned in repentance. Alayhi salatu wasalam. Seeking forgiveness, humbling oneself in prayer, prostration to Allah Seeking toba from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which requires that you have your, your intention sahih to, to leave that sin. That you, that you are uh, removing yourself, stopping the sin and you feel sadness. Those are the the... the pillars or the the conditions for Tawbah. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.